Hi, this is Maura Houston, and today I'm showing you a time lapse of a Jolly Fro Jolly Froger, <laughs> a Jolly Roger flag that I made for my kids' uh, theater performance. I got the image onto the flag by using the grid method. You can Google that really easily. It's basically just smaller squares on a piece of paper with larger squares on the flag and just trying to match the image. Uh, but I forgot to turn on the camera for that part, so it's fairly hard to show it. Um, then I started just painting it in with just basic acrylic paint, white. Um, obviously not how you'd normally paint or make a flag, but for, for this it worked fine. I used a smaller brush just because I personally liked the texture, but you can do it however you want. And the image itself, I just googled Jolly Roger and this was the one I found. Um, and one I just really liked with the swords underneath as opposed to the crossbones. And then later realizing it's pretty much the logo for the Goonies, which I grew up with and adore. So basically it's just a big coloring book right now. I'm just coloring it in as I see and kind of tweaking it slight, slightly as I go. Um, just personal preference on where I think lines should be. And um, like for the top of the skull, I tried to follow kind of where the arc of the skull would go and try to follow kind of, it's not really a grain line like in wood, but um, almost like there was a grain, grain to it. And I get to keep the flag, so I'm going to use it for Halloween next year. And before then, since that's still several months away, I'm going to store it, obviously, but I'm not going to fold it. I think it'll look better if I scrunch it up. Um, if it's folded, I think it'll leave lines because it's just acrylic paint and it'll wind up cracking. But if it's scrunched up, those cracks will be random and I think will look, will look cool as opposed to vertical or horizontal lines. I started adding a teal blue just to give it, I don't know, a little bit more depth and some fun. And just because I like it, no other really reason besides that. But try to give it a glow from kind of the bottom left and where that would hit on a skull and a couple of swords. For hanging it up, I just used safety pins up in the corners.
Then I just used a pair of scissors at the bottom to um, cut some holes in it and make it a little bit more weathered and a little bit more haggard. 